yeah, she's taking it off carpet and I keep trying to get it back on. Anyway, hi everybody. Hey, it is Tuesday, November 5th. Oof, here in the States, it's a little stressful today, but you are here at the Chaos Weekly Community Call. So really happy to see everybody here. Um, yeah, my first, my initial question was, uh, how do you de-stress? Because I feel like I need some more tactics, but we did ask that question earlier on the, in the year, so I'm not going to ask that again. So this is the question. Um, if you cannot get to the minutes, you are not alone. I don't know what's going on with Google Docs right now, but something is. So um, yeah, Sean's going to share. I think it's Sean. Don, Don's sharing. Uh, Don is sharing. Rhymes Thank with you, Sean. <laughs> Indeed, it does rhyme with Sean. Okay, so let's hop into the agenda. Um, I was just going to give a quick wrap up from All Things Open since we did have a chaos booth there. We had um, at least 123 booth visitors. We that, Those were how many people entered our raffle for our chaos uh, Lego globe that we give away. Um, according to the, we make people fill out a little form with a few questions. And one of the questions is, have they heard of chaos? And 97 of those folks had not. And I also spoke to quite a few folks who didn't um, enter the raffle at all, but who want to learn about chaos. So that was great. Um, I did get to see Isaac Malarski, who um, I think that's his last name, how you pronounce it, uh, who was giving a talk it is. also and, and um, promoted chaos as well. And someone else too had chaos in their talk, but I don't, it was not someone that I knew. So yeah, I just had people come up and tell me that chaos was everywhere. So that was great. Yeah, Isaac Still, was repping the yeah, Isaac's an auger maintainer, and he was repping the work that the Health and Human Services Department and the U.S. government is doing with auger and uh, at the open source program office at the U.S. government. Yeah, it was really great to chat with him. I'm glad I got to see him there. Um, it's still a great conference. I hope we do it again in the future. It's, it's really great. Um, very friendly, very good vibe at that conference. And it's an interesting mix of folks. Um, they're not the usual suspects that you get at a software conference. So, um, yeah, it was good. Um, also a point of note, AWS was also giving away a Lego globe and that was our idea first. So sorry, sorry, spot, sorry, Rich Bowen, but sorry, we had that idea first. So anyway, I'm just teasing. Um, I think I just wanted to bring up um, some marketing stuff with that. So our sign is looking a little ragged <laughs> after it's been used so many times. So I might talk to the design team the about that. The sign or the pop-up sign? That pop-up thing. Okay. Yeah, if I recall, we always we had trouble like standing it up anyway. It was always we always yeah. had to use like books under it. And... Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what I did. I shoved like the bag under because it, it just wants to fall forward. So yeah. you just gotta like it back um yeah so i might look into some alternatives for 2025 and i will say that sign has has served us well for like three years i think or two years so it's it's been that all over the world <laughs> that, sign. that seems very reasonable that's a pretty good life for one of those things given the travel damage they suffer why don't you um elizabeth if you can find something just let me know and okay I can probably just take care of it, like via okay. here, you know what I mean? And then yeah. just like you or whatever, so. Okay, let me just, um, I was gonna put an AI in there for me, an action item, but I can't get into the document, so I'll just remember, I'll just remember. remember. <laughs> um, I did, I would also like to have just a few flyers, like not everybody wants to take something tangible, but occasionally we do get folks who are like, I will forget you, um, let me just have something I can take with me. So I might recommend the design team just give like a one pager. Like here's what chaos is. Here's some like QR codes or something like that. So <laughs> thank you whoever's putting that in there. So I, it's a higher probability that I will remember to do that. Not 100%, but it's Great higher question. than I'm, I'm in 97 people who hadn't heard of what? chaos before. Did you get a sense of um, like last year, they send a lot of students to ATO and um, anyway, they, I felt like a lot hadn't heard just because they're students and. Yeah, there there were um, you, there were a good percent of students there, but what was interesting is Matt, I don't know if you remember, they did that like um, little code 
at each booth and the students yeah. had to collect the codes to get into some they did not do that this year so no. everyone who came by the booth came to actually have a conversation like a real conversation <laughs> which was better i think it was better than what they have done in the past which was right. tried to kind of gamify the interaction and engagement and it did not work and in fact one of the students came by and said she remembered us because she felt bad that she just shoved her like paper in front of us and just said, hey, where's the, what's the code? You know, like she didn't talk to us at all, which at that point, I think we were okay with that. I think, I think we by okay the end, that. we just had the code sitting out in yeah. the open. We're like, just yeah. here, just take it. We don't care. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, well, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did do that. Um, uh, oh, I also did give a talk at the diversity inclusion um, day that was the, the day before the conference actually started and I, I talked about chaos and how we are trying to uh, leave space for contributions that don't show up in PRs and I kind of talked about like what we're trying to do different things we're trying so if you want to see it it's 18 minutes it was only supposed to be 15 but I cannot that was hard to just you know 15 minutes is not very much time so it's an 18 minute talk there's a link if you want it or uh, the rest of those talks are great too which I should link. Um, there were some really interesting talks about ethical AI in particular and like how AI is biased. And there was a talk about neurodivergence. There was some great stuff. So I'll actually put the link in uh, in these minutes here afterward. Because it was good. Any questions about that? Was whole it in conference? the same venue? That, What's that? Was it in the same venue? Yeah. Did they have that? Was were there all the booze? I know they had oh. done booths differently. Was it yeah, we were down. Back? Yeah, they really cut back on the number of booths. So we were kind of down off the beaten path, like kind of back in a corner, which was fantastic, actually, <laughs> because you could actually hear people, you could have a conversation. It was yeah. not that loud craziness that was in the middle where we were before. We were at the um, top so. of an escalator last time. So people would just like come up off the escalator right into it. Yeah. Our <laughs> yeah, I think the fire people were not super pleased about that positioning because it was literally blocking the escalator <laughs> so yeah um so but it, it actually worked out great and i think it was a really good experience so and it's, and they give us the booth for free so like yeah i mean they're really wonderful there any other questions okay uh let's go on then I just want to remind people, so we were technically going to close that community survey on uh, the 31st, but we only have 35 responses. Last year we had 61 and the, uh, or two years ago we had 61 and the community was much smaller then. So I really, really, really want more people to fill this out. So if you haven't, please do so. I'm going to also put this in slacks and stuff. So if you're running working group meetings this week, please try to encourage people to take this survey the more the merrier you know the more feedback we get the better we can be so um if we can get more responses that would be great because that's not really very many considering how big our our community is so um yeah you can help me out if you're leading one of those groups to so just kind of prompt your folks or at least point it to them would be great yes sean goggins i was just wondering if that's some like we very we've been very, we're very disciplined about not using the everyone tag in Slack or the all tag or whatever. But I wonder if this might be a case where because we have so much Slack traffic and not everyone can make our meetings where it might warrant using that tag in the general channel just to draw some responses. Yeah, I yes, I'm I'm torn because me there too. are twenty three hundred people in there. Yeah, me too. Me I don't too. Know how I feel about that. But yeah, also, I just, totally agree. I, mean, I think probably at least, I would say at least 10 times more people pay attention to the Slack than do this meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think you can do like a, what, what is it's it, a like at here? And at here only tags people that are currently active, right? Is oh, that right? I don't know, but that like, sounds promising. Not. Yeah, so maybe we can use that to at least only ping the folks who are currently active right now. Yeah, I hadn't thought about like doing a tag like that, but it, it does seem to make sense, particularly for we're trying to make the community better. Yeah. yeah, like we've restricted access to it. So like only people who are admins, which I think Elizabeth, you are, can do that. But uh, this seems like a judicious and appropriate use of that tag. Yeah, and I would I would maybe do channel that channel 
to be honest, instead of out here. I think it's I think it's worth it for this for the survey. Um, and I would think carefully about when you decide to do that. So so not today or tomorrow because people are super distracted. Mm -hmm. By but, what? Squirrels. <laughs> I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> I got no idea. I'm not distracted at all. My eyes not twitching. It's fine. Um, but maybe, <laughs> maybe Thursday or maybe next week at a time yeah. that's going to be um, where where we think most of our community is going to be online. So I would just, you know, think about when you do that. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a really great point. And honestly, it, the the closing date is completely arbitrary. Like there's not, there's, it's just a date that we picked. So we can make it be a different date. We can leave it open as long as we want. So um, what, oh, is, thank you, what is the date? Because we haven't really been promoting the deadline and people, people uh, do tend to do things better if there is a deadline. So don't tell yeah. them we're going to leave the deadline. It's, so the deadline was supposed to be the 31st of October, which has come and gone. So just, maybe just tell we them the just... deadline's the 15th of October or something, you know. Okay. To yeah, John's something... point, they won't know that we changed it. <laughs> only, at this only... point, I would do the 15th of November instead of doing it yeah. in the past. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. But I would pitch it as, you know, we've, we've extended the deadline. We're giving you an, one more chance to participate yes. in the survey. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I agree with all of that. And I don't know that there is a time of day I can do that doesn't wake someone up. <laughs> I really don't think that that's a thing. So yeah, I, we'll just, yeah. I mean, I almost, I wouldn't, uh, I don't know. I'm, I was thinking maybe so Don should notify, post it. That, it uh, won't notify people who have their notifications like silenced silent okay yeah yeah true i mean i mean they'll get the notification but it won't pop up until they come back on come back to slack okay yeah, yeah that's true but i think we need to trust people to manage their own phones and notifications so that they're not getting things off hours yeah okay all right thanks everybody for helping me sort out how we can get more folks do we think okay one more question do we think it warrants a post on LinkedIn? I'm a little afraid to do that only because I it might invite folks who actually aren't in the community. Um, but that would be my concern also with that. But yeah, I don't know. And because like my get although we have like a link that leads to the blog first, which is like a wall, but then my get a lot of responses that you know, might be hard to like analyze the data. So Slack channel is okay with me. Yeah. Okay, we'll just keep it to Slack then. And what, then what, we'll get what we get and we'll just go from there. So. Yeah, I, I would just say, remember what happened when we posted our, our Zoom link on Twitter, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that <laughs> oh, was not that good. That was funny, that well, was funny, but not good. <laughs> right, that was not good. So yeah, good points, good points, good points. Okay, um, shall we go on? Do we have anything else? Anybody wants to bring up with the survey? Okie doke. So I wanted to bring this next one up um, because the holidays are imminent and I just want to make sure we are all on the same page with regard to meeting uh, cancellations and taking a break. Since so that way, since you know a lot of our meetings are bi weekly we're kind of starting to butt up against like this is our last meeting until whenever so. Um, yeah do we are we okay with taking the week of Thanksgiving off and then also December 16th to January 12th or do we have alternative dates, we want to take a break during. What do we think. I think we do this every year don't we. Yeah. For the we last do. Seven eight years. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm yeah. just yeah. I, I think never it's like the first week. Usually the it's one... like the first week December and then we're done. So so let's talk about uh Thanksgiving, first of all. I think we should give the Chaos Africa folks and the Chaos Asia folks um the ability to decide whether or not they cancel their meetings because this is not a it's not a thing outside the US, right? Fair. Fair. But plus one to the break in December.
is that um the december time is that okay to kind of go half december kind of half january do we want to do more december we, break and less i think the last last year we did we had meetings through the first week of december and then the second week of december we did not have meetings until the first week of january doesn't mean we have to do that again that's just what i recall from last year That would probably be my preference. And then just okay, so shift it a week. Yeah, shift it a week. And particularly with FOSDEM showing up not too long after January 12th, that would give us a few weeks to kind of get back. True. True, true. Okay, so we'll we'll have meetings in session the week of December 2nd. Then the week of the 9th, we will stop until the come back January 6th. Something like is that Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that seems very reasonable. Yeah, I like that. Okay, perfect. I like it too. Especially because I don't know if you all know this, I'm going to be a grandma again. The due date is December 26th. So yeah, I need some baby time. I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, week of Thanksgiving, we will take off most of the all the working groups except for the ones being that are focused in on chaos i can speak chaos africa and chaos asia we'll give them agency to to decide is that that's what we agreed on right and then yep. december 9th through january 6th okay anybody have questions comments mm -hmm. or oh, go ahead ruth no no i just wanted to i think for the December 9th to January 6th. I think we'll take it just. Everybody? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I guess if somebody really wants to meet and <laughs> like is super gun all they can, I mean, I don't have any problem with them, but uh, yeah, as a, as a general rule, we will, yeah, take a break. Okay, I tried to capture that in the minutes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, anything else on that break time? Okay. So the next one is FOSS backstage. The CFP is still open for a little bit longer, but it does overlap with scale. So if you've already submitted something or were um, thinking that you only wanted to attend one of those things, uh, you can still submit to FOSS backstage. And then the CFPs for FOSTEM, there is a community dev room, which we were actually talking about in the data science group. Um, it would be great to see some chaos papers or chaos talks, I guess is a better word to say, um, accepted into that. So feel free to submit your ideas to that dev room or any of the dev rooms really. The, and then the full list is there as well. Yeah, there's a huge list of dev rooms for those of you who aren't familiar with FOSDEM. So there's one about open research. There's a HPC big data and data science uh, working group. There's a one about uh, funding open source projects that the Sovereign Tech Fund is helping to organize. So there are a lot of really good dev rooms that I think are relevant to folks in this audience. So. So have a look at that that full list and see if there are dev rooms that you're interested in submitting to. Any questions about that? Comments? All right, well, I will turn it over to, I'm assuming Sean, to give some Augur 8.9 updates, or maybe Callie. I'm not sure which of you wants to give those updates. But we cannot hear you, whoever is speaking. Sean, is that you? If you're talking, we can't hear you. I still don't hear anything. Do but Sean's do unmuted. Hear? I hear background noise. I think from his. Try talking again, Sean. I'm not sure he can hear us. <laughs> we 
We can definitely hear him sighing. Sean, you can't hear us. Now I can. Sorry, my Yay. my. Sorry about that. I'm so I don't know what I missed. We missed, uh, or you missed us handing off the agenda to you for the Augur Eight Knot updates. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted. To of course, they probably saw my panicked face. Like, why did my audio go away? Why can't I hear anymore? <laughs> um, so, if, uh, is that handoff now valid? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to update folks. Uh, Greg Sutcliffe from uh, Red Hat has produced a few new Docker builds. And so I'm going to be distributing those on both Docker Hub and Quay.io, uh, which is a Podman uh, uh, distributor of containers for Podman. And the container descriptions are very similar. Uh, Greg's also been implementing uh, a few other changes uh, to advance Augur and the 8 knot architecture overall. So pretty excited to have his engagement right now. Should be looking for a new release uh, here in the next week or so. That's interesting. I was literally yesterday, I was on Docker Hub and searched for Augur. It's, I was doing it for class. It wasn't even for Augur. I'm like, oh, well, I'm here. I'll look and see. Yeah. Um, do you, what's going to be what's going to be in that container it'll be it'll be all of auger which we've discussed is still a large container and the large s is a it's really three factors the seed data that we provide the existence of the machine learning workers which downloads like three and a half to four gigabytes just of python libraries and then the nltk word lists which are close to another half a gig so the size of the, the size of the download is substantial and that's the one downfall of it um, right now, I believe the version that's in Docker hub is from August and so when we push up this next version. Greg has actually fixed an intermittent issue that was happening where um, the way that we do visualizations in Augur with um, get with the gecko driver was just sometimes not working and so Greg sorted that out with some of his magic docker foo and skills and so when we push the the latest version here by the end of the week i would expect augur's docker build i expect to be substantially more stable than it has ever been thanks to greg's help um would would you be able to like demo that here like in a variety of places i would love to see it personally like yeah not watching you download it <laughs> like if it's that big but I mean, a lot of people like to watch there. me on the internet i'll yeah. get a i'll get a i'll get a twitch stream going and yeah. <laughs> just watch me on the internet the whole you can just watch long. it download for yeah. <laughs> but I, i'd love to see it like if you could download it ahead of time i'd love to see like how to interact with it yeah yeah i, I think that's oh. uh are you thinking when you say you would love to see it, is that something you want to see in the context of a chaos meeting? Do you want yeah. me to make special appearances on like talk shows at night, like John Stewart? Or too. I was starting with just chaos meetings, but okay, um, yeah, yeah. I, I tell um, you what, I'll do a I'll do a download at the next Augur Eight Knot meeting, which I think is like the nineteenth. That sounds okay. right, whatever, or eighteenth, whatever that Monday is. And then from there, I will um, be free to do it whenever <laughs> somebody asks. I won't knows okay. myself into doing it like come see this new every working group i don't want to visit every working group if they don't want to see it but i'm thinking like folks at the university working group would yeah have a, a pretty big interest in this and i know i think that meeting conflicts with a, your class it's like wednesday yeah. 11 maybe yeah i can is that uh, this week or no it's next week okay would All you right. that when you do it yeah i just have to skip a class um, I should be able to do that next week and get away with it if I don't cancel class tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Which okay. I was thinking of doing because I plan to be full of ice cream most of the day. <laughs> um, and I just like maybe just a couple like use cases of or like example cases of how people would just again interact with it. 
Yeah, I think I think that's a good idea. I think what what I'd want to do uh, is have a yeah. Okay, I, there, there's one thing I want to include. There's a a more complete set of data that we want to include so that when you fire it up the first time, you've actually got not just the repository lists, but all of the data associated with those repositories to a point in time. So it's actually a fully functional version. And now if I'm dreaming big, what I really want is a single container or Docker. Docker. Container. Thank you. But it's like there's a Docker compose. A Docker compose <laughs> oh, script. So I sorry. was trying to think of the script I would love a Docker Compose script actually that produce, that fires up both 8 knot and Augur because really anymore I think uh, seeing Augur without 8 knot is like um, well something not complete. Okay. Uh, that'd be I think great. If you if you do this in a couple of the a couple of the working groups, I think we can include uh, once once those get uploaded, we can just include a link with a timestamp to where you did the demo. Yeah. And we can include that in the notes of some of the other working groups. So maybe we don't take the time in all of the working groups to do it, but we and and your time of actually having to do it in all of the working groups. But we can we can link to those videos. Yeah, yeah. And Docker, uh, Kelly knows that uh, Eight Net already uses a Docker Compose script, and so I'm I just had the while we're talking about this, the idea that maybe this container should contain both. Which I think it, I would think it would be no problem because we're using different ports. Not, and I'm getting a technical crap, but it should be as simple as including the existing eight knot container. I mean, is the the image here that you would just have a single container that contains all the auger like backend and all the if I'm doing front end yeah if I'm doing this if I'm doing this for the university working group for example I yeah. don't think it's terribly interesting to them if there isn't data to play with. Agreed. Um, uh, you know, I, I um, yeah. But like in the demo, could you show them how to collect data? Yeah, I that, that's that's certainly uh, very easy to do. Because it could maybe it would be like a not like over three meetings in a row, but just kind of a series of meetings. Like here's where it is today, and then slowly. Um, like if it includes eight knot in the future, as they see the, the evolution, I think they might have a big interest. Yeah, uh, and I think, so one of the other things I'm, I'll do, which is just a side note, is I have a separate repository for just the published Docker container that allows people to clone a repository that's substantially smaller than all of Augur and, and just run the container. And so uh, I'll probably move that over to the chaos org. It's been in testing under my Augur labs org. Okay. Um, to probably move that over to chaos and point people to that if they just want to fire up Augur and run it and have no interest in contributing to the code, which okay. in the university use case, I think that's probably most of that's the people. the most likely scenario. Yeah. Okay, cool, thanks. All right. Anything else for Sean or Kelly? Questions, comments? All right, we have a little time left. Um, the chaos con, uh, that's for the, we're gonna meet as a committee after this meeting. Um, just so everybody knows we are finalizing the CFP, so that will probably go out maybe today. So keep your eyes out. We'll put it in general channel when that's um, when that's open. So think about that. Um, I, I also wanna talk to the chaos con committee about the swag. Um, but I think that that's all we have for the actual real meeting here, so. I don't know. Anybody else have anything? Sophia, this is your chance. I think I'm too distracted today. <laughs> Preach. I, I feel that vibe very much. Um, OK, well, let's go ahead and close this meeting then. Give, your, give you all your time back. Go take a break, walk outside, do whatever. Um, yeah, we'll see you here same time next week. And have a great rest of your week, everybody. Are we doing a chaos kind of yeah. meeting right now, though? Yeah, chaos comp okay. folks just stay. Everybody else can go. You can stop I'm the recording. Stop recording. Yeah.